Let's just go ahead and get a little peek of what's to come in this video. What's up guys, welcome back to Nabori Auto. My name is Sean, and as you can see back behind me, the Forester is in the paint booth ready for paint. You're gonna wanna watch at least more than like five minutes of this video. I know you guys normally tap, yep, you know who you are. You just tap forward 10, 20, four minutes and uh, and go to the good parts. But there are a lot of good parts in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump on into the first good part, eating breakfast. Really, I'm just trying to distract you guys from the fact that Hector is gonna be running three Honda Civics with spoon engines. And also that I was so ADD yesterday that I forgot to film dialogue explaining each part before I went over it. So now I'm having to go through the next day and fix all that. But onward we go to taping off the Forester and getting on with the video. And eating my breakfast. Take a look at this. We got it already uh, nice and taped. Get ready to paint. If you guys remember, there was a big gap in here, big huge hole. So we literally had to go in here, cut it, pull the frame, make sure it was aligned, the doors were aligned, and then uh, you know got some bundle in here, make it look nice, nice and, and pretty. Uh, we were about to get get the paint on. But uh, you guys will see, it, this will look like there, like nothing happened to it, like at all. Just like that's how we are here in Pro, Dynam Pro Dynamic Collision Center. <laughs> good plug, good plug. <laughs> when you get rear-ended, sometimes we don't realize, and we just think the bumper got messed up. But in, in this case, I mean, in actually a lot of cases, uh, the, the hit goes into the actual car, into the actual frame. So we had to repair, there was a big, big gap in here so we had to go in here repair it as you guys can tell it looks like nothing happened to it so that's the point that's why you know it takes it takes us a, a, you know a good amount of time to get the cars out but we make sure when the car is out they don't come back you guys don't come back with no complaints because we don't like complaints and nobody does right no one does <laughs> so anyone that's thinking about disliking this video leave yeah <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember what this bumper looked like before but I'll cut to that right now it looks so much better and it's even just primer and glazing putty and everything um, that is insane and looking from the back side you can barely see you can just see where it hit the I think the bumper reinforcement maybe right there but yeah perfect and here's the front door um, to have it all sanded down and ready. The rear door, I didn't even realize that there was damage to it, but they found damage and they fixed that. Now I'm gonna jump into that oh so loved Gravy Beats montage with a few of the other parts that I didn't talk about. And I'm gonna continue blaming my ADD for the lack of that. Well, hot dang, we're good to go. Time to get some prep all, wipe down everything with degreaser. Um, degreaser is what I pretty much call prep all. Prep all is what I call degreaser. I don't know, but wipe everything down so it's free of wax and grease, whatever, fingerprints, oil from your fingers. Um, and then from there, Javier was oh so kind to film a little snippet of them mixing the paint on their scale. Forewarning, 
cut him some slack. He filmed in portrait mode instead of landscape. But he's new to YouTube, so it's justified. After that, just getting ready for paint and... Well, actually, this whole video is pretty much getting ready for paint. But prepping the paint gun. hear that now but the painting has begun I'm not even asking to go in there because that's not my place like it's his his zone now he's in the zone, in the zone, zone. So I'm just gonna film updates through this window I'm trying to find the cleanest point of the window and I think it's like right here a sealer right now which you can just see it's kind of barely opaque white then after he does sealer over here is base coat pearl coat and then I'm assuming that this is his clear coat gun I knew that people had multiple guns for painting but I have never felt so amateur in my life just having one gun that I do primer uh, base coat and clear coat with but again, that's why I brought it here to Pro Dynamic. Um, I don't have the equipment, I don't have the means, the skill, the pretty much everything to do. A lot of haze going on right here. I just want the sick angles. I know you guys wanted to see the Forester complete in this video, but you you can't have everything good in one video. But you know what you can have that's good? Crocs and socks. I'm sure I want to make like some custom Nabori Auto Crocs because I wear them all the time. And yeah. But time to take these back off and keep going on with the video because I can't wear them in the house. Next time you guys see the Forester though, I believe it's gonna be done. But wait, wait, don't think that just because the Forester is getting painted and it's gonna be reassembled that that means it's done. It's not, it's far from done. I'm very excited and I know you guys are too. You know why. <laughs> you know why. You guys know me in that aftermarket JDM life. So stay tuned. If you're not already subscribed, I would say go ahead and click that little button and then click all the other little buttons too. Post notifications and like or dislike or whatever the heck. Start clicking stuff on your keyboard, like right now. Yeah, just click. Anything you see, click it. As long as it's subscribed, 
post notifications and maybe some merch once that comes out. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I will see you on the next one. Wait, we're coming up on that <laughs> that gas station uh, Victor's Tires combo that there was interesting stuff going on last time. Let's see what else is interesting. Holy crap, there's a bus!